All right, folks, so I'm going to do a uh, change to my carburetor. This is a 1641 engine, although you can't really tell by looking at it. It looks like a, uh, it's a regular stock dual port. It actually is an engine case for a single port, but um, I changed the heads on this. The guy who had it before me... Um, Actually, I'm the one that put this engine together, but this engine, I think, was originally for a single port engine. Uh, there's the block number there, if you know about that kind of stuff. Uh, it's H, looks like it's H0685601, which I'm not sure what that goes to, but you can look it up. Anyway, so it's got dual port engine on it it's a 1641 like I said the heads are CB044 so they got larger intake and exhaust uh, valves on them so I'm gonna change the main jet on this and uh, I'm not gonna take the carburetor off to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and um, do it while it's on the car so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this uh, electric electric uh, solenoid cut off here I'm gonna take that off so I can get to the main drain plug that's back here and I'm also gonna change the idle jet which is right here on this this is the H30 slash 31 pick uh, carburetor so I'll go ahead and do that now alright so I went ahead and took off the uh, electric uh, solenoid cut off here it's in the way and I also got a small jar that's gonna catch all the gas as I take off this um, this bolt here that is like a cap and that's gonna give me access to the main jet um, and all the gas is gonna leak out from here um, I might have to take off the coil to get a screwdriver in there to be able to take off the um, the main jet so um, might be easier to just take the whole carburetor off but I'm gonna go ahead and do it while it's on the car um, just cuz I already started so once I do that see what's next from here all right all right so I opted to go ahead and take the carburetor off and um, what I did was take off this drain plug that goes in here where my thumb is at. Uh, once you take that drain plug off, you can get access to the inside of the, the float bowl. And if you look inside there, there's a hole and that's where the, um, the main jet goes. Uh, here's Here's the main jet right here, and uh, I'm going to put a bigger one on there. Um, I'm going to put a 130 on there. I'm not actually sure what this is. I, I don't have my glasses on. I'll have to I'll have to get my glasses and check. But I'm going to put a bigger one. And what that does is that hole that's in there is uh, it's going to be bigger. These uh, these Solex carburetors come according to uh, the internet. These H3031 pick carburetors from Brazil come with the uh, 122 main jet, which is really small. So I'm going to go with a bigger jet, and I'm going to go with a smaller idle jet. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right, folks. So it's actually smaller than I thought. Um, you can't really tell. It's going to be hard to see, but on the right is the uh, main jet that came with this carburetor, and it's a it's a Brossel, and it says 120. You can't see those numbers because of the glare, probably, but on the left is the 
aftermarket. It's, I think it's made in China, but it's a 130. And if you look closely, you might be able to tell that the hole on the left is a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to tell. It's, it's about nine o'clock at night over here, so everything's dark. But I mean, if you look really closely, you might be able to see the one on the left. The hole is smaller. But it's such a small difference, you can hardly tell, but it'll make a difference on your carburetor. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, bigger main jet on, and that's going to go here inside the carburetor, inside this hole. And then I'm going to change to idle jet, and I'll show you how, how I do that. All right. So if you look in there, you can see the new main jets in there nice and snug and uh, now I just got to put the cap back on that's this one here it takes this little washer it goes on there Oop, that's not the right washer um, let's see there should be a washer around here anyways once I find that washer this is gonna go back on uh, this is going to go back on there, cover up that hole. Sorry about that. I found the washer. I had dropped it in the, uh, the can for the gas. This is the plug that goes over that main jet. It's a 13 millimeter. And uh, now that I got that on there, we're going to go to the other side of the carburetor. And um, we got our two jets here. Now, according to various sources, uh, there's two jets here, and uh, this is the idle jet, and this other one is the, they call it the power jet. Uh, this is a 50, and this is a 65, and that's how they come stock, and they run okay like that, but with the uh, Bosch 009 distributor with no vacuum advance, and a 1600 or larger engine they recommend changing this to a smaller idle jet and replacing the main jet with a bigger one they recommend uh, 130 and, and, and up uh, I think it's Bob and Dave's Volkswagen website or something like that maybe I'll, I'll try to find the link and post it later so I'm going to change that out with the uh, this is a 55 it doesn't say it on here because it's a cheap uh, aftermarket it should be stamped 55 but it doesn't say it anywhere on there couldn't find it so but that's what the guy told me so I'm gonna put that in and that's gonna go right here so I got the carburetor back on uh, changed out the idle jet here. This is the original Brussels 65 goes on the idle jet right here. This is the one that points out in an angle away from the carburetor. Uh, then there's another one that points out directly to the right. They call that the power jet. There's conflicting on which one is which, but that's what I am going to go with. Here's the main jet. And this is very small. This is 120. Uh, I went up all the way to 130. And so hopefully that's going to make a difference when I accelerate. Um, I went with a smaller idle jet. This is a 65. I went down to a 55. Um, so I'll be getting more fuel, but at idle I'll be getting uh, less fuel, I guess. So it'll still idle, but when I need more gas at the high end, I'll have it. So I'm going to have to do a test drive and see how that works. Again, this is a Bosch 009 distributor. Um, <clears throat> this is a 1641 engine. Dual port and H3031 pick carburetor.